Number seven, letter A. A defibrillator sends a six amp current through the chest of a patient by applying a 10,000 volt potential as in the figure below. What is the resistance of the path? So let's write down what we know. We know that the current here is going to be six amps. We also know the voltage or the potential between the two paddles is going to be 10,000 volts. And what we're being asked to solve for is we're being asked to solve for the resistance. So how are these three variables related to one another? Well, they're related to one another via Ohm's law. Ohm's law says the current, okay, flowing through a particular circuit of sorts is going to be equal to then the potential applied to both ends of that circuit divided then by the resistance of that current through that particular circuit. So you can think of current as like fluid flow, basically. All right. So if you, you know, sometimes current's a little hard to conceptualize because it's like, you know, these little charges flowing and whatnot, but we've all seen water flowing through a hose and you've also studied fluids already. So if you think of current like you would fluid, it might help out. Okay. So if you just imagine, right, imagine you had like two tubes, okay, and both the current was the same. So both tubes had a current of I passing through. Pretend I is, you know, one amp. It really doesn't matter. And pretend the tubes are, you know, same size or whatnot. doesn't really matter, but for this example, okay, one amp. And pretend that now the potential difference between the left and the right hand side of the first hose, so to speak, is going to be, you know, a potential difference of, I don't know, 10. Okay, 10 volts. And let's now say the potential difference in the second one is going to be 20 volts, right? In other words, in this second example, I had to apply a greater amount of potential between relative from the start point to the end point in order to achieve the same current flow, right? Through the tube. Okay. So if I had to apply a greater voltage or greater potential right between the start point and the end point, you know, I'm kind of pushing harder. Okay. But the current has remained the same. What do you think I can state about the resistance now inside of that particular tube? The resistance should be greater, right? It should be greater here than the resistance in the first case. And it simply turns out that if I know the current, all right, and I know the voltage, I can find the resistance, right? Via this formula. So if the current's one and the voltage is 10, then the resistance here must be 10. Okay. And that's in terms of ohms. And the resistance in the second case then should be 20 ohms. All right. That's the unit for current, uh, excuse me, resistance ohms. So hopefully that kind of makes sense, right? You can think about this as like fluid flow, but, um, anyway, getting back to the, getting back to now this, this question. All right. Um, all I need to do then is kind of plug in these values. All right. So again, the current, flowing through a circuit is going to be equal to the potential difference between the start and the end point, essentially of that circuit, um, divided then by the resistance through the circuit. So if I have to solve this thing for R, just simply do a cross multiplication, right? Switch your switch the little variables. And all you got to do then is just plug it in. The voltage here is going to be 10,000 divided then by the current, which is six amps. And what do we get? So we get 10,000 divided by six. So there's about 1.67, sorry, 1.67 times, what is that, 10 to the minus 3? Yep, no, excuse me, 10 to the positive 3. And that is in ohms. 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 <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have to entertain myself somehow doing this, uh, so I apologize, guys. Um, in any case, let's do a letter B. Um... Hmm. The defibrillator paddles make contact with the patient through a conducting gel that greatly reduces the path resistance. Discuss the difficulties that would ensue if a larger voltage were used to produce the same current through the patient, but with the path having perhaps 50 times the resistance. Well, we actually just kind of talked about that, right? We talked about that if the current's the same and a larger voltage is used, well, obviously the resistance should be greater. In this particular case, they're telling us that it's a 50 time greater voltage. So I'm just going to get rid of this little picture because um, I don't really like having a dead guy here for no reason. So in any case, we're just going to delete it. All right. So for letter B, for letter B, 
They're asking us to think about this in terms of power. You know, think about this in terms of power. So if the resistance goes up, the power, according to this formula, will also go up. Okay, the power being applied. So power is equal to I squared times R. Now, if I is constant, but R goes up by 50 times, then what happens to the power? Well, the power should also go up by 50 times, right? It's kind of like saying, you know, take your current, square it, and then take your resistance, original resistance, and multiply by 50. So power here will then go up by 50 times whatever I squared times R is. Um, and the more power you apply, right, the hotter it gets. Guess how your toaster oven works, or your toaster, right? Or your electric oven, or your electric stove. Those things get hot, don't they? And there's electricity flowing through them. So how are they getting hot, or why are they getting hot? And, you know, another appliance, like, you know, you plug in your phone, and the phone might get a little warm, but the cord isn't getting hot, right? Why is that? Well, it's because in the electric oven and the electric stove and all that stuff, the resistance of the wire is really, really high. If the resistance is really high, the power, as you can see, goes up. More power, more heat. So why do we not want that in a defibrillator? Unless you want to fry someone's chest off, it probably isn't a good idea. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, hit that like button, and even maybe tell some of your classmates. Thank you so very much.